be happening today. The group working to recall L.A. County District Attorney George Gascon will file a petition. Hundreds of thousands of people have signed it as part of an effort to let voters decide his political fate, his future. NBC4 is in Ariola live in Norwalk, where volunteers with the recall Gascon campaign plan to deliver the paperwork to the registrar's office in just a few hours. And that good morning. Hey there, good morning. Hello, Adrian, to you and Robin. Hello, everybody. Yeah, those organizers are going to be out here just around 2 o'clock this afternoon turning over all of those petition signatures. And that is because today is the deadline for those petitions to be turned over to L.A. County. The effort to recall Los Angeles County District Attorney George Gascon began shortly after he was elected with critics blasting him for a series of directives he issued that many believe are soft on crime. Now, some of those directives include a rule against seeking the death penalty, a ban on transferring juvenile defendants to adult court and prohibitions on filing sentencing enhancements in several cases. Gascon sat down with our Conan Nolan for a very lengthy interview where he answered questions regarding the policies that he has implemented, how they have impacted victims, and why he believes communities are becoming safer under his agenda and the changes that he has made. Take a listen. It's not all black and white. It's not just purely how long somebody's going to go to prison. People that are committing violent rape in this community are going to prison for very, very long periods of time. But what we're trying to do that wasn't being done before is we're also trying to provide trauma-informed interventions. And our numbers speak for the self and the that we're prosecuting more sexual assault cases than they were being prosecuted in the prior administration. Organizers of the recall effort must have at least at least 566,000 valid petition signatures to force a recall. The group announced that it had surpassed that number, uh, but the petition or drive continued with organizers saying they wanted to gather as many as 700,000 signatures just to make sure that there were valid names on the list. Again, all of those petition signatures to be dropped off and delivered here at the registrar's office around 2 o'clock this afternoon. Reporting live from Norwalk and at Ariola 4 today in LA. Adrian Robin will send it back to you.